Getting started with 3D Game Studio Video Overview. The videos are broken down into an introductory section followed by six sections of videos followed by a video showing you how to light your levels. In the introductory video section, the first video is called 3D Game Studio Introduction. Basically, it shows, it gives you an introductory uh, overview of 3D Game Studio, the program. It shows you the different versions of 3D Game Studio that are available and what each version is about. Second video tells you the requirements and gives you links to where you can download the various resources that you need in order to follow along with the videos. The only thing that you have to uh, buy the only one of these requirements that you have to buy is 3D Game Studio. The other two programs that I discuss in the requirements video are free downloads. Then finally, in the introductory video section, I discuss planning your game. And in this, I'll just give you an overview of the different types of game genres and give you an idea so that whenever you go and try to create your own 3D games, you'll have some sort of idea on how to plan it out. In section one, I'll start off by creating a room. And then I'll follow that by adding textures to the room to make walls look like walls and whatnot. And then in the third video, I'll show you how to add additional rooms. In the fourth video, I show you how to add a door between rooms. So in section one, I really lay the foundation for showing you how to create your own levels with 3D Game Studio. In section two, I show you how to create unique textures. And then in the second video, I show you how to add prefabricated objects. And in the third video, I show you how to create prefabricated objects. In section three, I show you how to add an upstairs to your level so that you can, you know, you put in steps and put in an elevator and you can have more than one floor to your level. The second uh, video in section three shows you how to create and add terrain to your level. And then I show you how to create and add a pool to your level so that your characters can actually swim or can uh, you can have like an underwater game or whatnot. In section four, I show you how to add a script, an elevator, and a door to your level. Section four really lays the foundation for scripting and don't be scared about section four. It really isn't as bad as it sounds. There are a lot of prefabricated scripts that I show you how to use so you, the amount of scripting that you have to do at this time is minimal. Um, you can choose to do more scripting, but in order to just follow along, you just might have to write a line here or there, and I'll, I'll show you what to do. In section five, I show you how to add a computer player, add a weapon, and publish your game. If you're interested in creating a uh, first-person shooter game, or a game with weapons and whatnot, then section five really shows you how to do that uh, fairly easily. You know, you can have a computer enemy that runs around and uh, you can have weapons that are on the ground that you can pick up and use. And for publishing your game, I show you how to take your game files and like with 3D Game Studio, make it into an executable file that you can give out to friends, you can distribute, you can sell online, etc. In section six, I show you how to modify the scripts in your game, and I go into more basic scripting. In section four, I said I laid the foundation for scripting. In section six, I go more in depth in scripting and give you more of a foundation so that you can uh, continue on scripting from there. Um, I talk about strings and variables and adding a bitmap overlay so that you can have kind of like a menu to your game or whatnot. 